me when I got home from town. I remember what I forgot to get. It's a pocket gopher trap. Because this bugger has been digging <laughs> across my driveway. And he's a long way from anywhere he can do any harm. But I'm getting, he's digging up all this clay, which makes for a slippery road. And then he left one of his holes open yesterday evening and the dog started digging. So now I got this pile of dirt. And I see he went and filled her back in again. But I'm sure later today there'll be another one a little further down. But it's just driveway. But I'd like to get him out of there. So I'm going to have to make sure to pick up some pocket gopher traps because that's getting annoying. But he is a persistent bugger. But, you know, they dig, you know, they eat the roots as they go along, but... There ain't no roots here to eat. You know, he's got a long way to go before he's going to get anything to eat. He should starve to death pretty soon. Now, in my various projects here, I go through a lot of turpentine, you know, mixing the pine tar with the turpentine. And I end up buying these little one-quart cans. They're like seven, eight bucks a piece. But I go through a lot of it. And so I always thought it'd be nice to be able to get it in bulk, but the only see place I'd ever find it in bulk, you know, if I go online, cost me $20 a gallon and another $20 to ship it. Well, that gets to be a little <laughs> expensive. You know, it's the shipping that kills it. It's the same with the pine tar. Now, I've got to do some calculating, but I think I can get it in... I know I can get it in like a 10-liter pale but it comes out of Sweden but I think I can get it cheaper that way to get enough of it for the this kind of stuff I'm doing this is another one of those pilings that's got to be sat in the sun for a while but I've got a nose for bargains and today when I was in town I stopped at a local true value and they had these sitting on the shelf that I've been sitting on the shelf probably through about three different owners. You can see all the galvanizing is off the top of the cans and it's the old true value colors and stuff. You know now everything comes from sunny side and it's in plastic but like I say it's twenty dollars a gallon. But this stuff since it's been there forever they were glad to move it at half of the old price. So I got three, I got every one that they had, three gallons at seven bucks a piece. Well, that's less than the price of one of these little quart cans. So that was a bargain. And I'm going to have to hit every true value in the area and see if anybody else has got some old stock. I, I search for bargains, and it tickles me when I find them. You know, like, no, this beam here has already been pine tarred. But from sitting in the sun, you know, it gets kind of weathered looking. Yeah, same, like here now is a piece that has been re-pine tarred. Because i got to soak it in. But I'm going to have to go on. Searching for more true value. And I have to say too that you know, in a day where you now uh, all of your hardware stores have turned into sporting goods stores and your sporting goods stores have turned into clothing stores, really. It's nice that true value still stays a hardware store. You know, I can go in there and and just look, which is how I ran across this wonderful deal. But it's honest to God hardware, which is always a great relief. I know one time I was in Minnesota in a small town. I don't even remember the name of it now. But it was in a kind of a resort area. 
And it was an old uptown in this little small town. And they had an old hardware store that was absolutely amazing. Um, you'd swear it was out of like the 30s or 40s. You know, it was, he had an incredible stock of honest to God hardware. It was just a joy. It was like looking in a museum, but you could buy the stuff. You know, the good hardware store is a really nice thing to have. And True Value is pretty good about keeping that tradition up.